Hurricane Irene came in around August 28th here and uh, flooded the facility. Uh, water from the river came up above the pools, got into our wells and contaminated all the fish and the whole infrastructure here. After going through this and checking with our state partners, the decision was to uh, then depopulate this facility. We were fortunate to find out that, that we were able then to donate these fish to our, uh, to our Native American friends up in uh, the Northeast. Because uh, there was some tribal interest, um, we now have uh, lots of tribes uh, in the uh, Northeast, we do have 18 tribes that uh, potentially are going to be recipients of these fish. The uh, Micmacs uh, ultimately wanted the fish to um, use for a 20 year uh, anniversary uh, celebration of theirs that marked uh, their recognition, federal recognition. And um, at, at all these uh, tribal celebrations, food is always a, a, a central part of the celebration. And we always try and serve a traditional meal. And um, two of the staples of, of Micmac traditional foods are salmon and moose meat. Um, uh, unfortunately, salmon is uh, no longer as available as it used to be um, when the tribe historically utilized that resource due to the damming of rivers and pollution and other factors. The salmon stocks just aren't there. And to purchase the salmon, it's extremely expensive. And our tribe is a, a low-income tribe and our resources are extremely limited. So the, uh, the donation of the fish by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is, is really um, a, a great event for the tribe. As with all natural resources that are used for food or medicine or, or spiritual use, the tribe always gives thanks um, to the fish and other resources that give their life for the benefit of the tribe. So it's also very spiritual in addition to just the, uh, the nourishment that the salmon provides. On behalf of the Aroostook Band of Micmacs, there's a great deal of gratitude toward the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for providing the salmon to the tribe.